Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next stop on our tour of excellence is Madison Area Technical College. With seven campus locations, Madison College serves nearly 27,000 students. The newest location is Goodman South, on the south side of Madison, where the college is honoring the area's past while embracing its present. So you'll see when students come in, not only do they see people who look like them, speak their language, but it's reflected mm -hmm. in the walls. We invited all the neighborhood associations to submit pictures to us. Tell us about your space. Like what is it about your neighborhood that you're most proud of that you want to see reflected on our walls? Mm -hmm. And so they all submitted these pictures and I just, I love them. Like you tell us yeah. about who they are, what they do. It's awesome. As a lifelong resident of this city, I can remember when this site was, um, looked like an industrial, <laughs> you know, place that you wouldn't want to come, let alone spend any amount of time. And when the college decided to um, site this campus here, I think there was a lot of questions about why. Um, how would you describe um, what drove the decision um, and what you think this facility now means for this community? I think first of all, this uh, facility it wasn't like you build and they come. We went to the community first, nice. trying to find out what the needs were. Many of those students in our community, this community, didn't go up to Truax. They didn't? No, when we opened the doors in September of 2019, to see folks coming from the neighborhood, yeah. that was huge. Nice. And when we opened, we, we only planned for 1,200. We had 2,300. Right away. Right away. You, I, we are the future of healthcare, so it's such an exciting um, time also to showcase what you're doing to make sure that you bring equitable healthcare because when your patients can see themselves in you, they are more likely to have better outcomes. This week you should have started um, reading. We'll be covering delirium, confusion, dementia, understanding dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. Using taped fingers, rubber gloves, and blurry glasses, certified nursing assistant students are learning to understand and appreciate the physical and mental challenges many of their patients face. Put all that together and think about what your patients are going through, or your residents, or your clients, right? Wherever you're going to meet them, whether they are clients, patients, or residents, they are there because something somewhere is compromised. We don't meet our patients or our customers because they are in their best state, right? We meet them in a compromised state. And how might you think about that differently? For 21-year-old student Ashley Gonzalez, taking care of people is what motivates her. I started off as a RA, actually a resident assistant, mm -hmm. for like, um, like assisted living. I actually have um, worked in the memory care unit. Right. So I do know a little bit about dementia and Alzheimer's mm -hmm. as well, like what we're learning today. Um, it's just eventually I started as a job and then eventually I found out that it's something I really don't see as a job, it's more of a hobby and like actually like being a family with those people that you take care of every day because you become part of their life and all the way around. 17-year-old Paul Bursick is following in his mom's footsteps. She recently completed the CNA program at Madison College also. She's working her way through uh, Madison College to get her um, I think LPN or ADN, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, she was like telling me about it and telling me as, you know, working as a CNA and how cool it is and how much I would like it. Um, I like helping people. I've kind of always been that way. I want to get my LPN mm -hmm. and I know this is a start and at first I was like, I have no clue, like maybe mm -hmm. I'll just start as my CNA but already, already halfway through the program, mm -hmm. I like, I was like, nope, I'm set. This is what I want to do. Awesome. And this is how I want to better my future. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I'm Hispanic. So mm -hmm. 
I know that there's not a lot of opportunities before when like my mom was younger right. and like being able to give and have that opportunity right. I'm just like very grateful that I can do and help other people out in my community as well.